Hello there. Welcome to another very exciting uh, news update for the week of... Well, today is 5-27-2012. End of May. Very exciting. We've had some great progress this week for Hyper Nocturnal. This is the news update, by the way, for Sci-Fi Radio Theater. I should probably tell you that before I start talking, huh, in case you don't know what this is. Um, this is Sci-Fi Radio Theater. We make uh, science fiction, fantasy, and horror radio dramas, and we do these weekly updates in between our actual episodes. So that is what we're doing now. Um, so this week, I'm actually, you, you can see, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can get this series on both YouTube and on iTunes as a podcast, but if you're watching on YouTube, you'll see my background's a little bit different. That is because I am not in my normal apartment. I'm actually at my mom's place in Vermont um, for Memorial Day weekend. So I'm recording from home, my old home. Um, actually, my sister's room, though. Except my, my bedroom's been turned into a guest bedroom since I have grown up and left home. But uh, So I'm here for the weekend, and I'm just doing our quick video recording. Um, we had a lot of progress this week. There's not a lot to tell about, um, but we have had a lot of progress. I guess before I should start off, though, I'll tell you a little bit of a personal story, because this morning, um, I did something exciting, which was exciting for me, completely unrelated to sci-fi radio theater, but I went and shot a gun, which is crazy. Um, I've only ever shot a gun once before in my entire life, when I was, like, 14 or something like that, um, and it was a rifle. I shot, like, a, a, a 22 rifle and a shotgun. I remember I sh it was a really bad shot because I shot a shotgun and a plate and I missed. And that was the last time. And I remember I was kind of like, meh, whatever. I didn't really like it that much and haven't really done anything like that since then. But recently my brother's gotten really into firearms and has a whole collection of um, machine guns, uh, semi-automatic machine guns, <laughs> and uh, pistols and things like that. And so he knew we were coming from World Day, so he wanted to take me out to shoot a pistol because I had never done that before. Um, and... I did it this morning, and as it turns out, I actually, it was a lot of fun. I'd never done anything like that before, and uh, I was actually a pretty good shot, uh, surprisingly. We're at about, oh god, 20, 25 feet away or something with a, a little 22, um, at least this is what they told me, handgun. I think it was called like a mosquito or something, so it was like an itty-bitty gun. Um, but I thought, I wasn't sure if I was like, going to like it, and it's actually really fun and really addictive, especially when you like actually hit the target. So that was... That was pretty cool. I've never done anything like that before, and it was uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, and it's got me interested in paintball, uh, uh, oddly enough. I'm like, God, this must be what paintballs like. What you actually, but if you're actually good enough to hit people with the paintballs, because I played paintball once before also, and I was horrible at it. Um, I never did anything like that again. But I sort of think I want to try playing paintball again um, after this experience shooting a handgun, just because it was really fun shooting something and actually hitting a target. It was a lot of fun. So. Maybe I'll have to try it uh, some other time. Uh, it, oddly enough, it, it'll probably be when I'm up here in Vermont, because as I discovered, Vermont has incredibly lax rules when it comes to handguns and guns and just shooting and owning guns. There basically are no rules. Uh, I live in Boston right now, and there's an exorbitant amount of regulations, and you have to go through safety courses and all this stuff just to even like look at a gun. In Vermont, I even know this, apparently you don't even need to be part of like the NRA or part of any sort of organization or any kind of training you can just go and just buy a gun and start shooting with it and that's it there's like no laws whatsoever so um literally the only thing I had to do was I had to um sign up for membership at the shooting range which was $35 and it was good to go no one checked if I was a criminal or whoever so that was a bit strange I never I grew up in Vermont my whole life and we always had a lot of hunters and gun shooters around but I never realized it was really that lax and there was really no laws whatsoever uh pertaining to guns so that was interesting anyway um so that was my little story this morning but um you probably want to hear less about that more about the actual hyper nocturnal our new horror radio drama that we're working on we had a great week this week we are completely casted we are done. We have, I should say, we have two very small female roles um, that I'm still looking to fill. Two, two small parts. So, if, again, if you're a female, you're interested, send us your stuff. Um, if, you're, if you're still interested in getting involved, obviously, we don't have roles, a lot of roles right now, but send us your stuff anyway because, um, you know, in our next radio play, we will, and I'll, I want to have your contact information. So, send your demos, as I keep saying every week, send your demos and all that stuff to sci-fi 
radiotheater at gmail.com. That's sci-fi radiotheater at gmail.com. But anyway, outside of that, we're completely casted. Everyone signed on. We did some more recording this week. We recorded um, uh, Heather Fair uh, down in Boston, and we're actually going to be recording her sister on Monday, Crystal Fair. Um, and they're playing two... I don't have to say lead roles, but secondary lead lead roles. Um, and we got Heather completely finished on um, Friday. No, Thursday, excuse me. We had her completely recorded on Thursday. So that was good. So we're making really great progress. I'd say we're, I'd say we're about halfway through at this point. A little less than halfway through. Probably after Monday we'll be about halfway through um, recording the major roles. We still have to get in the three main lead roles we haven't recorded anything with them uh our first recording session with jt uh for one of those lead roles is going to be happening not this tuesday but next tuesday it was supposed to be happening this tuesday and i had scheduled something with them but then my wife reminded me that that's actually our first year anniversary which i completely forgot and we're going out to dinner and all that stuff and i um <laughs> uh you can tell how great of a husband i am because i went oh so you scheduled something on Tuesday then? She's like, yeah. I'm like, so you probably still want to go to that, right? She's like, yeah. I'm like, all right, I'll cancel the recording session. So <laughs> that didn't go over too well. But um, nonetheless, next Tuesday, the 5th, we'll be, we'll be recording JT and we'll get really rolling. Um, we already are really rolling. But regardless, had a great recording session with Heather on, on Thursday. Um, she, I gave a great piece of direction to her, which she loved, which was less orgasmic and more terrified as she was making noises. Um, <laughs> so that's the one thing I'm finding with horror uh, stories and radio dramas is that you really do get to give fun directions and lines that you normally don't, you don't really get to read in any other genre, even science fiction and fantasy, like horror, there's really something special about that, that just like with the screaming and the, ah, and the voices and stuff like that, there really is just a special something special about horror anyway um so i think that's it um there's some other things i want to say oh yes i've um registered the domain because i got a complaint from a british dude who's a friend of mine um who they spell the word theater weird <laughs> they probably think i spell the word theater weird um they also spell fair with a y but they spell theater excuse me, with an R-E instead of an E-R. So sci-fi radio theater.com. He says he keeps going to type in the address, but with an R-E and he keeps getting the wrong domain. So I actually own theaterre.com. Um, so right now I'm just going to be working on redirecting that this week to just so if you go, if you're English, you type in theatre.com, it will just automatically redirect you to the normal root domain. So I'm working on that this week. Um, the Bagua Tree Box YouTube videos, I still have not had a free minute to get to. I'm having some stuff happen, um, good, exciting stuff happen to me, um, outside of the radio dramas right now, um, that's keeping me excessively busy. Um, not, not excessively busy to the point where that's slowing down Hyper Nocturnal at all. Um, if anything, we're, we're flying with Hyper Nocturnal, but it's, it's making it so these other kind of secondary things I want to work on, like the um bagua two box and youtube and stuff like that is sort of taking a back seat until i can kind of get a bit more a bit more organized um um with that stuff so uh but good things are happening to me very good things are happening to me it's just taking up a lot of my time um so still planning on getting them up there it might be a little bit longer yet i know sorry uh you can still download everything off uh, uh itunes though um but it, it will eventually get up there. But uh, right now, first and foremost, when it comes to the radio dramas, Hyper Nocturnal and recording Hyper Nocturnal and getting Hyper Nocturnal out the door is the number one thing for me. So I'm still plugging away at that. Um, and that's still going full speed. Nothing's slowing that down at all. Um, what else do I have to say? What else do I have to say to you? I feel like I had something I wanted to say to you. I'm going to sit here in silence for a minute while I think of it. Um, can't think of it. All right, I had something else I wanted to say. I can't remember it. It's so never mind. Um, that's it for this week. That's our news update. Uh, thank you for listening. Continue to listen. Continue to leave us comments um, at sci-fi radio theater at gmail.com. Ask me questions for the gut love of God. Ask me questions so I have more to talk about on these news updates. You can, again, I said email us, sci-fi radio theater at gmail.com. You can also Twitter us at sf radio theater 
that's SF Radio Theater, and then you can um, Google Plus us and Facebook us, and we're, we're, we even have a, a Pinterest, which I talked about before. So we're everywhere. Um, so please follow us, tell your friends, leave us a review on iTunes, leave us a review on Zoom. No one's left us reviews on Zoom either. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys have a good week, and I'll talk to you next Sunday. Bye!